Well, I've actually had quite a bit of experience in that I worked in a cranial facial unit in the UK for 20 years where we introduced the use of um, titanium implants for patients following cancer surgery of their jaws and uh, of their um, skull. And we um, found that we needed to prepare the bone for the implants um, to be in the best possible healthy status. And at that time, um, hyperbaric was proposed as um, an option for patients who'd had radiotherapy. So if patients have radiotherapy, then the microvascular blood um, vessels are damaged and destroyed deep within the bone. And we knew from um, clinical evidence at that time that if patients went into um, hyperbaric um, therapy treatment, that that um, blood could be um, blood flow could be improved. Mm -hmm. So we would put the patients through um, a series. I can't remember the number of dives. It was maybe five or ten dives, as we called it, mm -hmm. in a chamber, a very large chamber. And they would um, then come to surgery. And when we drilled into the bone and put the implants in, we felt visually, but we um, felt that um, clinically we could see an improvement in the state of the bone. So the implants would be put in. They would then be left in the bone for up to six months. Mm -hmm. And during that time, they're what in those days they used to call the term osseointegration would take place. Mm -hmm. I think now they've changed the terminology. Mm -hmm. um, and we saw um, what we felt was an improvement. We also had the patients, and it was slightly subjective, but their reports from being inside uh, the chamber was that the areas where they'd had radiotherapy and surgery, they could feel um, a sort of tingling or a some form of response. Mm -hmm. And we know that in lower leg um, problems for healing problems, maybe for diabetic patients, mm -hmm. Uh, or patients who had um, uh, traumatic crush injuries, that um, it's known that there is a much healthier, quicker response to healing. Well, much to my surprise, I urgently needed um, a bypass surgery um, and bypass heart surgery. A bit of a shock um, to me and um, a bit of a shock to my body in terms of recovery. I just remembered that patients who had gone through the therapy in the UK, they felt that not only was there this sort of tingling feeling, but there was um, an improvement in their sense of well-being and in their overall recovery in terms of fatigue. I have um, a target to go to Moscow for the World Cup. <laughs> I have some tickets. Um, I felt that hyperbaric oxygen might well just give me a little boost and might help speed my recovery.